What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Transformers Generation Selects Deep Cover. So this is uh, not a retail figure. You can get it at some retail stores. I got this at a hobby shop nearby, but you can probably find this on Hasbro Pulse or other sites like that. It um, will be available in regular retail like Target or Walmart. There is another version of this character, Deep Cover. It's a Netflix exclusive at Walmart. I saw it in the store. I didn't buy it because I just didn't like the colors. I think these colors look a lot better. It looks, it looks more like the original toy, but uh, it is probably more accurate to the show. So that one is more blue. It's pretty much blue all throughout. Um, the chest is blue. So it's just got a different look to it. So some people might prefer the more show accurate, but I think this one looks better personally. But anyway, let's get close on the figure and take a look at it. So it does have a nice tampoed Autobot logo there. Headlights, which we'll see more in the vehicle mode. Got a nice painted head sculpt there. Silver on the crest and then silver face with blue eyes, which looks good. Getting down, you have some blue paint here with silver paint in the middle, red paint on the knees, silver paint on the knees as well, and then silver for the toes. Here's the back, pretty clean. You do have these symbols here. We'll see that more in the vehicle mode, but I just like those. They look pretty cool. Uh, you have a tiny, tiny bit of silver paint right there, which I believe is a, is a error. I don't think it's supposed to have silver paint in there, but it does end up looking like, I don't know, battle damage or something weird, but you do have that. He comes with uh, three different weapons, which, or yes, you say two, because one of them combines together. So this one you can take and put together, and then he can wield this as a shoulder cannon, like that. Or if you don't like that, you can put it in his hand, like so. Or if you don't like that, you can take it apart. And you can take this. They show it on this side. It doesn't make a lot of sense because it hinders the head movement. So I think it makes more sense to put it on, the, on this side. So this pin is kind of sticking out that way. And then you can take the other part and put that in his hand. You can also use any of these ports. I mean, you can... World's your oyster. You can really do whatever you like. The weapon is painted white. And the back is painted silver here. You also get this one. This one's painted... Black all, or, uh, silver all the way through with a black handle. That looks nice. And that can go into this hand. And he's got plenty of weapons to uh, battle those Decepticons. Yeah, and he looks good. Let's get into articulation. So articulation is the head. It is on a, uh, it looks like a double ball joint. So he gets a lot of side to side, forward that much, up that much, and then rotates all the way around. Shoulder rotates on this joint here, also goes up to there. So you can rotate there. You can also rotate at the bicep. Single jointed elbow gets you 90 degrees. No rotation at the wrist, but you get a bend in for transformation. Rotation at the waist. The legs can kick up to there, back to there, out to the side. 90 degree bend at the knee. Ankle tilt out to there, no toe tilt in either direction. Uh, the Siege characters seem to have less articulation than their counterparts in Earthrise. So, but still, pretty nicely articulated. It looks good. And for a quick size comparison, there is Deep Cover next to the Netflix Optimus Prime. I like this scale, of course. I mean, it fits in with all the other Autobot uh, cars from the Earthrise and Siege line. All right, now let's get Deep Cover transformed into his vehicle mode. Pretty easy and also the exact same transformation as the original. Go ahead and take all these guns off. Rotate the hands inwards. We're going to take and open up the chest here. And you'll see this piece comes up. The head is just going to kind of hide down into there. So you can leave that there like that. Rotate the chest in and just going to cover up the face. You can rotate the face around if you want to hide that, but it's not really necessary. Rotate these panels out, fold the arms in, and they're going to just sit in these cavities right here. Same on this side. And the transformation is very similar to Gigawatt. I don't know if anybody's noticed. It's, it is a retooled version of this side swipe mold. So it wasn't quite a unique, but it was, it was pretty heavily remolded. Go ahead and open up these panels, fold the feet inwards, and then you can peg this together and then close this or actually rotate the waist and then 
fold this around and go ahead and close up these panels. Take these side panels, they're going to peg into the side. And there is deep cover in his vehicle mode. Really nice looking vehicle mode. It does roll very nice and smooth. It's got some really nice details on it. Got the red and white headlights. And now that symbol, which actually it looks like a police kind of badge. It's right where the Lambo logo would go. So I just love that, how it looks almost like a Lamborghini logo, but with a star instead of the bull. You have these on the side, same symbol on the side here. It looks like these are painted a matte black. Here's the back, you got some nice painted red uh, tail lights there. Pretty clean overall, some nice painted silver rims with a nice design there. Overall, I really like this vehicle mode. You can take the weapons and store them all. And again, you've got a billion options. You can take this and put that on the side and then take this one and put it on the top. I believe they show it like this with this one here. Although I tend to think that looks a little bit ugly, but um, you can attach these together if you prefer. You can take this one and basically plug it in to this and then plug this into the top of his car mode and now you got both kind of hanging out there. So you can really choose however you like it but the default configuration they show is like this. And that looks fine. And for a quick size comparison there it is next to the Earthrise runabout. Pretty much the same length. Slightly wider. It's a Lambo. Usually Lambos are wider. And slightly shorter but Overall dimensions are very close. These black vehicles always look nice. I, I don't know what it is, but they always come out nice and they look good on camera. They look good in person. But there you go for comparison. All right, now let's get D-Cover transformed back into his robot mode. So go ahead and come down here. You can open up these panels. And then allow you to fold this all the way out. Separate the legs, get these feet panels folded out. You can grab right down here, there's a little tab to pull on. Close those up and then flip the waist around, 180. Open up these side panels here, that's going to allow you to flip out the arms. And fold out the hands. Take these panels and fold those in. Open up this panel here, and that's going to allow you to take the chest and fold that down. Make sure you have the arms all the way out and then peg that in. That's just going to peg right into the chest there. And then finishing touches, you can take all the weapons and get those stored back on to his person. So final thoughts on Deep Cover. Pretty cool figure, pretty good looking character. I like the color scheme. I like the accessories they give you. Everything looks nice. Um, we're probably getting mold fatigue with this, I just as, uh, you know, fans. Uh, it doesn't have any mold degradation or anything like that. Everything's nice and tight. I don't have any issues on anything. Everything looks good. Tolerances are good. There are some, you know, waffly bits here and there, like in the arms and the forearms and the biceps and in the thighs. There's quite a bit of that. Uh, but overall, I really like the look of it. I just think it looks really nice. The color scheme is what really sets this apart. Now, it is the same mold as the Siege Sideswipe, so you're not really getting anything new, so don't expect to you know, be totally surprised. But other than that, I do recommend it. I think it's a fun figure. I think it looks nice. If you're a fan of this character, I think you're going to enjoy it. That's really it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.